Hello students, my name is Graciela and today we're going to focus on a lesson of cultural appreciation and diversity and we're going to do so by reading the book Black Magic. First, I want you guys to take a close look to the front cover page and we're also going to go through the pages. I want you guys to tell me what you think the book is going to be about. Any ideas of what it's going to be about? Music, yes, it could be about music. We could see a little girl with her clarinet in the front cover, of course. Any other thoughts? Maybe family, yeah, we could see also family members, maybe. Okay, anything else? Happiness could be, we see a lot of balloons, celebrations, a happy environment. Okay, any other thoughts? Magic, yes, maybe it could be about magic, but we still don't know, so let's find out. Black Magic by Dina Johnson, illustrated by Gregory Christie. I hope you all enjoy the book as much as I do every time I read it. <laughs> Black is big, like a star-filled sky. We can see all the stars in the background. And tiny, like the sparkle in my dad's eye when he hugs me with his strong arms. There's a dad and a girl being hugged. Black is loud, like my best tap shoes making happy noises with every move. And black is quiet, like a butterfly. Here was, we can see the big tap shoes with the quiet butterfly here. And also the images are black as well, so we can see the word black and the black images. We see lots of colors here, three friends. Black is delicious, like the deepest, darkest chocolate that melts in my mouth in a moment. Black is quick and black is slow like the winding road where does it go we can see all the road here lots and lots and lots of cars which make traffic go slow we can see different colors in the background black is proud like my sister at her graduation and silly like my Uncle Nathan with his fussy mustache that tickles me. So here's Uncle Nathan and here's his sister graduating. Black is silky like my puppy Ebony. So here's Ebony. Black is shiny like my brother's new car. Look at that shiny car being washed. Black is scary and exciting, like when you go far, far, far inside a tunnel. So here's all the way through the tunnel. Black notes make music on a plain white sheet. Black words make stories that we could speak out loud or keep in our hearts to erase blackness 
of being apart sometimes from the people we love. We can see the musical notes, the clarinet, the grammar. Life is surprising, like the stripes on the zebra's hide, or a sudden kiss. And black is the wish. See, you can see the balloons, the celebration, a cave. They're making a wish. Black is majestic, like a baobab tree that you can see if you go with me to Mali in my dream. So here's a black tree. Hundred blood braids make a spider web around my head. Here's the spider web, which means like the type of hair gets tied up. Here are the musical notes and the clarinet again. And mama's voice is black and sweet as I fall asleep. Black is older than a rainbow. You can see the rainbow, ebony, the zebra. So we can see that it all ties up and everything has connections, right? It is blue and blue and bluer still than the sea. Here we can see the different types of blue and the, and the sea with the different tones of blue with mixed with black. You can see the three fans as well here. Black is the magic, the blue black magic, the always magic inside of me. And here's the little girl on stage, maybe at her sister's graduation. And everyone's happy, enjoying the moment. And she's happy as well. You can see it portrayed on the picture. And that's everything. What do you guys think about the book? Did you like it? Yes. So we, we were able to see lots of figurative language throughout the book. Figurative language means non-realistic meaning, which is an exaggeration of words. It is mainly used to give the reader a more emphasized words for for them to create like deeper understanding of the of the book. Maybe we also have literary devices, and those are used in poetry to create understanding and they are also used to emphasize like the meaning and everything. Among those literary devices we have an opera, simile, metaphor, personification, and imagery. Who can tell me where they saw an in the book? Correct. An opera is used throughout the whole book, not only once, but multiple times. An example of this is the repetition of the word black. Black is used in almost all the pages of the picture book. So moving on, we have simile. Simile compares two scenes using the words like or as. Where did you guys see this in the book? Who can tell me? Yes, we saw it at the start of the book, like with the beginning phrase that says, black is big like a star-filled sky. You can see that it's comparing two things, the black being big 
and we have the word like star filled skies and the author also gave us the imagery by portraying a, images that represent what is being said for the reader to create a deeper understanding we also have metaphor in the book who can tell me where they saw metaphor incorporated let's see correct on page 27 we have black is older than a rainbow how is this a metaphor do you guys know maybe because it states one thing it's another so here it's saying black is older than a rainbow without using the words like or as, unlike simile. We also have personification incorporated. Incorporated right over here. Black is proud like my sister at her graduation. So what does personification mean? It means giving a human action to a non-human object or something not human. In this case, we have black is proud. Can black be proud? Mm, it's not a living thing, so maybe not, right? So it's giving personification. And lastly, we have imagery. Where can imagery be found? Yes, in all the picture book. We see lots of colors, visuals for the reader to understand, of course. Lots of symbols that represent what the words mean. Of course, and we also know that imagery is used to create like deeper mm, ideas about what is being said. Like maybe we have the words, but we can also create or imagine certain things with the words being so explicit. It gives us so many details that we like picture everything maybe differently and yeah so now let's move on to the activity on cultural appreciation and diversity